for another Pilates class to get your bodies moving and to really wake up your body and your mind. Today we're going to be doing some standing work to really move our spines, get into rotation and work on our balance as well. So I really hope that you enjoy today's class. As usual, if there's anything that we do that doesn't feel right for you on your body, please do stop that exercise. Listen to your body at all times as well and just be aware of where you are in space. Okay, let's get going. So we're starting in standing. And today we've got our Pilates done. So I'd like to bring yourself up so your feet are directly underneath your hips. So you can feel the weight go down evenly through your left hip and your, your left foot and your right foot. And you've got a piece of thread just lifting up through the crown of your head. So you're really lengthening away from the mat. So you're pressing the mat away from you, letting your arms hang down heavy by your sides and relaxing your shoulders as well. From here, let's bring our heels together and leave our toes where they are. So we've created a smaller base of support for ourselves. Still have the weight going down evenly through your left foot and your right foot. And think about the muscles wrapping around from the inner thighs all the way around the glutes. So you're really nicely supported here. Your hips are balanced over your heels. Your shoulders are balanced over your hips and your arms are nice and long and heavy with your head just perched on top here. Great, so keeping the lower half of our body completely still, we're going to go straight into a side reach. So let's breathe in. As you breathe out, keep everything still as you float your arm all the way up and then start lifting up and over to the side. So we're lifting out our waist, we're getting that lovely flexion curve through our spine. Inhale to restack and then smoothly float the arm down back down to the side again. Well done, let's go again. Breathing out on the other side this time, let's raise our arm up. Lifting up and over, lovely side reach here. Inhale to restack, and again, float the arm down. Let's keep going. Breathing out to the side, up and over. Restack and bring the arm down. Now just think about what your toes are doing and ask yourself if you'll be needing to grip at the mat. And the same with your knees. It's really easy to start tensing up everything when you're trying not to move it. So let's keep going gently from side to side. Get that lovely tilt of the head, reaching through that top hand, taking the arm down again. And again, all the way up and over. Lovely side reach. You might find that one side feels different from the other. Again, breathing out, lifting up, all the way up and over. Keep your chin away from your chest. We've got one more to each side here. Brilliant. Reaching up, floating the arm down, and our last one. Good, lifting up and out of your waist. We stack bring the arm down again. Well done. So keeping our lower body still like this, let's go into our bow and arrow now. We're gonna float both arms up so that our palms are facing and our arms are level with our shoulders. Breathe in to prepare. And as we breathe out, let's start drawing the elbow back, reaching the other arm forward and keeping our hips facing forward. Open up the arm and then sweep it back and around. Let's go on the other side. Draw the elbow back, rotating through your spine, so keeping your hips facing forward. Open the arm and sweep round again. Now it's really easy here to start letting your hips travel back as you move. But keep them facing forward so we're just purely rotating through the spine here. Show you from the side after this one. Open and close. Good, so going from the side, we draw the elbow back. The other arm almost travels forward. Turn your head towards your elbow, sweep around. So you can imagine you're drawing a bow and arrow here. Open and close, good. Still keeping your head, hips and knees balanced. Good, and again, draw back, open and close. Two more times on each side like this. We draw back, open, Close, breathe out, keep your hips pointing forward, open and close. Last one on each side. Core muscles coming up and in to support your spine in this rotation position. That's it. 
arms come back to the front and let's bring them down once again. Give your shoulders a little bit of a wiggle out. Just check your position here again. And we'll go into a little bit more shoulder work here. So we're going to do a kind of variation of windows to get some lovely movement through our shoulders. We start with our arms down by our sides, palms facing backwards. Breathe in. As we breathe out, let's float our arms up so that our hands are level with our shoulders. Then draw your elbows back, still breathing out. Then inhale, rotate so your palms facing forward. Reach up into the air and sweep them forward and down. Let's go again, breathing in to prepare, breathing out to floating up to shoulder height and draw our elbows back. Inhale, rotate, then press our arms up. Exhale and smoothly draw them down in line with our shoulders once again. Let's keep going like this. So we're just getting that lovely shoulder girdle movement. Might not feel like you're doing anything, but we're really working on correct alignment. Just waking up all the muscles in the shoulder as well. Let's go again. Breathing out to float. Drawing your elbows back. Inhale, rotate. Press the arms up. Sweep them forward and down. Two more like this. So I'm going to try and reverse the direction. So getting our minds working a little bit more as well. Reach through. Sweep forward and down. Let's go one more time like this. All the way up, draw back, rotate, and sweep up, forward and down. Great, so now let's try and go the opposite way. So we're gonna breathe in and out to press all the way up into the air, draw our elbows down, rotate so our palms face down, press our arms forward, draw them back down, palms going backwards. Good, so let's try that again now. Trying to not get mixed up, breathe in, Breathe out to flex all the way up. Keep your body completely still. Still breathing out, draw your elbows down. Inhale, rotate so palms face down. Press forward, sweep your arms down and back. Well done. Three more times like this. Keeping your body nice and strong. Draw down, rotate, press forward and down. Good. And one more. All the way up. I say two more, I can't remember. Let's do two more. Feels really nice on our shoulders. Forward and down. Good. Last one like this. All the way up. Good. Draw down. Rotate. Forward. Bring your arms down. Good. And give your shoulders a little bit of a wiggle. Well done. Okay, so going into one more shoulder move, we're gonna do a really nice arm circle. So we're gonna do them singly, and then we're gonna do them with double, and just see how this affects your posture. So when we do the arm singly, we're kind of changing the center of gravity. So you're gonna to have to work a little bit harder to keep nice and tall. So all the time thinking about pressing the mat away, relaxing our toes, and lifting up through the crown of our head. Let's breathe in. As you breathe out, float one arm up, just like before. So we're kind of going into a single rib cage closure, then reach really wide out to the side and down. And if it feels good for you, you can try reaching behind the line of your body as long as you don't start to twist through your spine. Let's go on either arm, breathing out to float up. Inhale, big stretch out to the side, circling the arm around. Let's keep going all the way up. Circling around. So we're getting that shoulder moving, the arm moving in the shoulder girdle. And again, up and around. Now I can feel that as my arm moves, my body kind of wants to wiggle from side to side as the center of gravity changes. So really think about toe muscles switching on to support you here. Up and around, good. And again, on the other side. You might find that one arm feels a bit different from the other, it's totally normal. Last one here, all the way up and back, super. So now let's go both arms together and I'd like to be really careful about what your hips are doing. It's so easy as your arms go forward and round to start kind of swaying forward through your hips and swaying backwards. So I like to think about that nice balanced column that we found at the beginning of the session. So breathing in and out to float up. Switch your toe muscles on so you don't flare through your rib cage. 
reach out to the side and down, maybe going behind the line of your spine once again if it feels good for you. And again, breathing out all the way up. Keep length through the back of your neck. Reaching out to the side and down, good. And again, reaching through, toe muscles switched on to come in. And down, let's go two more times around like this. Good. And our last one, all the way forward and reaching out to the side, bring the arms down, well done. Let's go the other way now. So four circles in the opposite direction, breathing in and out, all the way back again, behind the line of your spine, if it feels good. Reach forward and down, palms facing. So you can make these circles really, really big. Maybe feeling how your shoulder blades are moving on the back of your rib cage and spine as well. Breathing out to float, breathing in to go forward. And our last one like this, out to float back, in to come forward and down and rest your arms here, well done. Okay, so let's take our feet back so that they are parallel with each other, but they're not hip distance apart. I just like them slightly closer than hip distance apart. So you're going to go into a standing balance. So it's called standing on one leg. Now you might like to make sure you're by a wall so you can place your hand on the wall for a bit of support. Back of the chair works as well, or a door handle. Just you know, if you know that you struggle with your balance, it's a really nice aid to have you to help you with this balance. So standing super tall. Toe muscles coming in once again. We're going to try and do our best not to move anything through our spine. As we breathe out, we just start to peel one foot off the floor and then start lifting up that knee until it's about at hip height. Lower down with control. And we're going to try and keep our shoulders and our hips really level. Let's go on the other side. So breathing out to float that knee up. Inhale to lower down. Show you from the side. If you can't bring that knee all the way up to hip height, it's totally fine. Just bring it however much suits you. And remember, the wall or the door can really help to aid your balance. Keep your gaze going forward on something that's not moving as well. So we float that knee up, lower down. You might feel the muscles in that supporting leg really working hard to help you with this balance. So you can see that as I walk from side to side, I'm not ticking my pelvis at all, keeping everything super strong and lifted through my spine. Let's keep going, breathing out to lift up, inhale to lower down, and again on the other side, all the way up and down. Just going from side to side here, float and lower, okay. float, oh, nearly lost it there, and lower. Okay, let's go one more time normally like this, all the way up and down and again, up and down, well done. So let's add in some arms to make this into a bit of a march as well. So as we breathe out, we float one arm up directly over our shoulders, we bring the opposite knee up, inhale smoothly, lower down again, well done. And again, breathing out to float, keep that supporting leg super strong. Toe muscles come in to support you, good. Again, just going from side to side. Again, focus on something that isn't moving and think about that lovely length through your body. All the way up and down. Good. You can hear my foot peeling off the mat. It's not very pleasant. <laughs> good. Nice and tall, reaching through the fingers, so think about length through the arm and the leg. One more on each side here, up and down, and our final one. All the way up and lower that leg down, great. So now we're gonna increase the amount of time that we're spending in balance by adding in a lovely waist twist. So just before we go into the balance, we'll practice our waist twist so we know what we're doing. So you can, feet parallel, float your arms up and stack one arm on top of the other, shoulder height. We're going to keep our hips facing forward, so you can imagine you've got headlights on your hips, always facing forward, toe muscles come in, breathe in. As you breathe out, let's start turning our head and then bone by bone, rotating around as far as we can whilst keeping our shoulders away from ears, hips still facing forward. Inhale to come back through to centre. Let's go to the other side. Turn your head to start rotating. 
and follow bone by bone through your spine before coming back. Let's do one more to each side before we add in the addition of that balancing leg. Back to centre and around again, rotating around the side, back to centre. Okay, so now we're going to do exactly the same thing on one leg. Bring your feet closer together, float, float your arms up, float that leg up as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, let's start smoothly rotating to the side. It's a lot harder to balance here. And that supporting leg should be working super hard. So go one time to each side and then float the leg down. Let's go on the other side now. Bring the knee up as you inhale to prepare. Exhale and start to twist. Inhale back to centre. Good. Keep that balance up. My leg is working so hard. Bring that leg down. You can probably hear it in my voice as well. <laughs> Let's bring the leg up. Rotate. You might find one leg, it feels better than the other. And you might also find it's a little smoother and easier to rotate to one side than the other. It's totally normal to have imbalances in your body. You'll find one side is stronger or smoother. Good. Ooh, good. <laughs> this is so hard to talk and balance at the same time. Good, we're going to go one more time on each leg. If you want to, you can swap over your arms so the other arm is on top now. Just makes it feel slightly different. It's good to mix it up as well. Keep your body guessing. Keep your mind guessing as well. Good, bring the leg down. And our last one here, rotate to the side and back. Good. And again, round to the side, shoulders down, away from ears and back. Bring that leg down and float your arms down once again. And just walk through your feet here. Good work. Okay, so I'd like to go back into Pilates stance for our final exercise, which is going to be a nice roll down to get some movement through our spine. So back into Pilates stance, muscles wrapping around from the inside of our thighs, core muscles coming in, lengthening up through our spine, arms hanging heavy. Imagine you've got an imaginary beach ball in front of you that you're going to lift up and over. So let's breathe in. As we breathe out, nodding our chin, softening our breastbone, toe muscles coming up and in. As we start to lengthen over this ball, keeping your weight central over your feet and hanging like a ragdoll through your arms and your legs. Trying to relax your toes on the floor, breathing in. As you breathe out, open up the front of your hips. So you're restacking your bones in your spine, one bone at a time. All the way up to the top, shoulders melting down coming all the way up once again. Good. So the first one might have been a little clunky. It definitely was for me. Let's try going a few more times to see if we can get it to be any smoother. So just think about that tippling forward, bone by bone by bone movement. Supporting yourself as you roll forward up and over and then your hips will bend last of all. Hanging on and heavy breathing. As you breathe out, opening up the hips. Restacking again, nice and slowly. Great, lovely. Let's do one more like this. Nice and tall. Rolling forward. Soften as you roll down. Tummy muscles come in. Lengthening up and over. Good. Hanging super heavy. Breathe in at the bottom before breathing out to open up the hips once again. Bone by bone restack. Up to the top and let your arms hang down. Cool. Okay, so final two breaths. We're going to come into a little bit of a balance once again. Arms down by your sides, breathing. As you breathe out, let's start floating our arms out to the side, raising up onto our tiptoes as we reach our fingers. Inhale, smoothly lower back down onto the floor. Good. And one more time like this. Breathing out to come up, balancing as you reach your fingertips. Inhale to come back down. And you're done. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed your class. Remember to check out my YouTube channel and my Facebook page for more videos and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.